TYT Sports locked out here in Culver City, California. Rick Strom with you. Oscar Pistorius, the 26-year-old South African who was the first double amputee to compete in the Olympics. A long-fought battle that took what seemed like years uh, with him actually being able to compete against able-bodied opponents and runners. Well, was charged with murder late last night. Now, basically what happened is in South Africa, it should be noted, the crime rates are astoundingly high. Granted, they've gone down since the 1990s. So because of that, you are allowed to have one gun, either a handgun, excuse me, a pistol or a shotgun uh, for self-defense purposes. What was used in this case for Pistorius was a nine millimeter pistol that he shot and killed his girlfriend. His girlfriend was a model. She was an actress, and she had a television series coming up. Her name is Reva Steenkamp. She was 30 years old. Now, Pistorius, also known as the Blade Runner, will remain in jail and will have a hearing tomorrow where police have already said that they will oppose bail. They decided to make his hearing tomorrow instead of its originally scheduled date, which was today, because they're giving forensics more time to investigate the scene. Now, it should also be noted that Pistorius... Granted, he is, he, he at least was this fantastic athlete, a great phenomenal story of how you overcome the odds and, and your specific disability and his specific disability of where his legs were amputated when he was just one years old, I believe prior to his first birthday. When he could not sleep at night, he was quoted as saying that he would go to gun ranges. When he walked into his house one day, he even tweeted he thought that there was an intruder in his house and it was actually his washing machine and he was about to go into recon mode. It's an amazing fall from grace for Pistorius, who was on Time Magazine's list of the world's 100 most influential people. He was viewed as a hero in South Africa, and he even raced a horse. People wanted him to, and he beat the horse in that little race that they had. So. Again, an amazing fall from grace, grace for this guy, Pistorius. There's a lot of speculation going on also that Steenkamp was trying to surprise Pistorius. That she came into the wee hours of Thursday morning and decided to surprise him. Don't you think that with all the crime rates that are going on, and I'm not justifying any of this at all, we're just speculating here. But if that were the case, don't you think that because of all the crime rates that are going on, and she probably knew that he had a gun, she probably would have said, hey, baby, it's me, something like that. One other note, and I know I'm saying this repeatedly, but one other note, uh, there have been domestic issues between the two. Oscar Pistorius' father has said that he has had no knowledge, really, of their relationship, and he's never even met Reva Steenkamp. Steenkamp even tweeted this, What do you have up your sleeve for your love tomorrow? Hashtag get excited. Hashtag Valentine's Day. A police spokeswoman even said there is no other suspect involved. That is courtesy of the AP. Now, look at this Nike advertisement. I mean, it's, there's not much you could say, really, for Nike. It's just poor. Uh, this was prior to what happened, I believe this is in 2011, it reads, I am the bullet in the chamber. Now, a South African journalist via the New York Times had some interesting comments. Here's what he said. The best case is that he shot her by mistake, and that is a particularly South African mistake, that we are so paranoid you are ready to fire off bullets when you don't know is coming. We are such a messed up country in some ways, and every now and then it comes to the surface with events that bring it into such stark relief. So look, there is no doubt in my mind that there will be more information that comes out regarding this case. Again, the hearing is Friday, but either way, whatever way you want to look at this, it's tragic.